when you close it up. So uh, remember, but start away, wrap away from the thumb, start on the top, and right at the wrist. I, you know, threes is something I like. I like odd numbers, and then keep it open. So what I'll do is I'll go like one on the first one, and then I'll I'll put this here. I'll go two, and then I'll put the second one on, and that way it just kind of secured underneath and doesn't slide out. And then you got three. <clears throat> now at this point, here's here's where I'll put the uh, the extra padding. And what I'll do is I'll go across one, and then I'll have him close his hand. Close your hand, and see how it drops over. Obviously, you know this is the point of impact, so you want to make sure that there's enough padding. Uh, where when he hits, it's going to be okay. Open, and it probably wouldn't hurt to drop it down just a little bit there. Okay. Now the commission doesn't have any issue with that. Uh... No, you know, as long as you show them because it's cotton. Oh, you know, okay. as long as you show them, look, you know, it's it's not anything still. Or, and even if if you don't have those, if you have a little extra gauze like this, I've cut some up and and I've just you know kind of rolled it up to where it's that point. But yeah, you know, as long as you let him know that you know he has a injured. Uh, you know, not going, I'm not putting no extra on there. And it just kind of fills that gap in there. So, you know, I always go on the top of the the padding, and then I'll go on the bottom of the padding, and I'll kind of give it like a quarter inch over it, because what I'll do is I'll tuck that underneath. And then that kind of secures it in there. And then, once again, that's my third. And then I'll, I'll start crisscrossing so over the thumb, under the thumb, and then away from the thumb. And that kind of secures it from... You know, if you get jammed up. You said that the boxing commission only allows you to have a certain amount of gauze hand tape. Yeah, you know, in in California or in Nevada, they're they're pretty good. You, there, there's a stipulation: 15 yards of gauze, uh, six yards of tape. You know, but uh, very few do I see are going to look and, and measure it out for you. And you have to and, use uh, all that, or can you? Use no, less? no, you can use less. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely. You know, and every fighter's hand's different. Uh, some guys don't, you know, want very little, uh, so you can make those adjustments as you go. You ever find that it's not enough? What's that? Enough gauze, enough tape. Uh, well, with some big old hands like Vladimir Klitschko or something like that, you know, you kind of need a little. But then that's where a good commission will give you that option. You know, yeah, but he has bigger hands. You know, I mean, George Foreman, I'm sure, you know, he would have lasted with 15 yards of dust. You know, <laughs> and uh, so, you know, if, if you start working the commissions and, and they understand that, you know, you're there to help the fighter. As long as you have a logical explanation, I think they'll work with you pretty good on that. Start at the top, finish at the top. And then how's it feel? Good. Yeah, stretch it out, just move it around. Feel it okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, close it. Maybe from what I thought went into wrapping the hand to what actually goes into wrapping the hand. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely an art, no doubt about it. I'd like to use every inch of tape. Turn it, open. Turn it, close it. And, and see how he, he moved his wrist up? Okay, you gotta make sure that the fighter leaves his wrist as he's gonna be punching, which is gonna be straight. You know, if he's like this, you gotta make sure you, you straighten it out for him. Turn it, open. Turn it, close it. Okay, how's that feel? Great. Okay, keep it closed. All right, here we go. <laughs> and see, now, now you got me thinking. That's, yeah, okay, I, yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah, okay, that's, that's a good point because you know what I do when I pull on, yeah, when I pull on the tape, I hold it there so that it doesn't. Yeah, so it doesn't put that stretch out. Yeah, good point. Yeah, and see, I did that without even thinking, but that's exactly what I do, just like this. You know, I'll do this and, you know, with a good eye. OK, 
okay, and then open. And then once again, like I say, use that same boundary. Close it and get a nice snug. And now, now you can go snug because it's going to help open. Close it. Open. Close it. Open. Close it. And just leave it closed now. And I'll give it two layers. Open again. And it's funny because, uh, close it. See, with a lot of, because I deal with a lot of people from different countries, like uh, Fedor and Milanko and Krokop and Vandalay Silva, and I've gotten to a point where I'll go like this, and they know how to open and they know how to close. And a lot of times guys have these headphones on, and, you know, so, you know, I'll, I'll get them, I'll say, open, you know, close it. Okay. And then after a while, I'll just go like this. And then he knows how to open. No, he don't, but <laughs> <laughs> just keep it closed. <laughs> but, but it works out good. And <laughs> yeah, and at, here you could definitely give it some tension because the the injuries come up on top, and and uh, and it could it could stand it could stand to have pressure applied on it. Now here's here's what I call the knockout wrap, and that everybody likes it. I always come across and. My theory behind this is <clears throat> it's, it's really the same concept as, as plywood. You know how plywood takes different angles for it to be real strong. So I'll, I'll come across. Now, do you do this on the MMA ones too or no? Yeah. Well, I uh, actually, I'll, I'll show you right now. I taught myself, believe it or not, and, and I'll tell you the history behind it is I used to watch these guys just like, just like you guys all did. You know, you watch somebody wrap pants, right? And, uh, but I, uh, I would practice on myself. And, and I'll show you, it's a great story, man. So that's why I was destined, I know I was destined to be a good cup man when I tell you this story, because it's going it's to say, yeah, you know what, it makes a whole lot of sense. But I, uh, I was home practicing by myself one day, and uh, wrap my hands, and like I say, I, I would go put the gloves on and go to the bag and all that. And, <clears throat> and I was at home one time, and I was cutting the, the tape off, and see that little scar right there? I'm going to show you guys right there. Little small one. There's <laughs> a little small scar right here. <laughs> that little part right yeah. there. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah. So I'll just show you here. Because I'm proud of this. You, know, you can barely see it. You know? It's right there. That little one right here. So anyway, I was I, I was home by myself and 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 I'm cutting it off and, and I'm and I bought these small scissors because I didn't know if they let me bring the big ones in the airport. So I figured they take these and that's fine. But I'm cutting this thing off or this way and my skin turned this way and boom! I took everything off, man. I, just and, and it turned about as big as a dime. And I'm thinking, oh shit, what happened? And I started to freak out. And I said, hey, I'm a cut man. So I went to the refrigerator, got my stuff, and put it on him. I thought that was a pretty good sign from God, man. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that was supposed to have been a, a cut, man. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's a true story, man. So I'm glad you asked. That was cool. All right, and this is the tape. You know, with Joe, we use the regular tape that's probably authorized here in, in Florida. Hopefully, you know, through, through negotiations, we'll be able to get this everywhere. But this is great tape, and, and I'll show you the difference. Open. Close it. Open. Close it. Open. It's almost like that adhesive. Close it. Open. Close it. Close it. Turn it. Open. Close it, and then just kind of compact everything. But how does that feel? Yeah, 